My journey to Liberia began with my first flight out of Toronto on April 2nd, which was Good Friday. Then a quick stopover in Paris, another stopover in Bamako, Mali in West Africa, and then finally I saw the beautiful lush rainforest of my beloved Liberia. This was my fourth trip and the first time arriving during the day. I arrived Saturday in the late afternoon, took a mandatory COVID test, got through customs, then it was straight to the hotel and then to bed. Sunday was Easter and we celebrated together with matzah bread straight from Jerusalem. Everyone was so moved and touched as I shared about Jesus' final Passover with his disciples. Everyone was happy to see me. I even got an exciting welcome dance from our construction crew. It didn't take long though to be reminded of how difficult life can be for many people living in Liberia. The signs of the struggle to survive could be seen and felt everywhere. Every time I go to Liberia, I fall more and more in love with the land and its people. You. <laughs> nice to see you again. Hi. Thank you. Come here. Yeah. Who's this? <laughs> That's our niece. Oh, and did I mention the food? Nima Kante bread. He's eating Nima Kante bread. Nima Kante bread. The mano bread. It's the mano bread, right? But let's get back to the people. God has really put a soft spot in my heart to help the children of Liberia, especially those living in remote villages. Even though the need is so great, they continually and constantly exude so much joy and happiness. One little girl in the village really touched my heart. Her name is Lorpu, and she's from the Pele tribe in Liberia. There were hundreds more like her in the village. Help me, help me, help me. Help me bring it. Here, hold it. Hold it. Let's bring it together. Come on, come on. Help me. Help me. <laughs> then it was time to make our way back down to Carysburg, where I had another first. <laughs> awesome. Well, after my harrowing and near-death experience on the motorbike ride, I was blown away by how many people kept on coming every day to get fresh water from our well and carrying it back to their homes. Not only is Hope for Liberia helping the community with food and water, but we're also bringing hope by building this multi-purpose building with a community center that will equip thousands of people by providing teaching and training to help them become more self-sufficient. Oh, sorry, I had to stop for a quick bite to eat as they were making my favorite Liberian dish, palm butter. Okay, back to the ministry. So we drove out to Margaby County to the village of Banana Town where we brought enough clothing for 300 children. That's over 600 outfits. Then we went up to Tasea Town, it's also known as Rooster Town, and we dropped off 250 kilograms of rice and 400 outfits for the children. Then it was back down to Carysburg again, where people were working feverishly to complete the multi-purpose building for our dedication service on the 25th. Things were really starting to come together. And then the big day finally came. Hundreds of people came to celebrate and thank God for all that he had done for the people of Carysburg and Liberia. <laughs> So, with a full heart, it was time to go home.